So what we're seeing here is our certificate search page where I've drilled into uh, this key store that is uh, connected to the Luna HSL. Uh, we are going to make the assumption uh, that uh, you've read the document around how to hook uh, Java Key Store up to the HSM. And so what we'll be demoing today is how our Java agent talks to that Java Key Store, which in turn talks to the Luna HSM uh, in Depod. So you can see here that I actually uh, created that key store uh, here called uh, keystore.depod. And you can see currently I have eight certificates in here. And so what I'm gonna demo for you today is I'm just gonna go ahead and enroll for a new certificate and uh, place that certificate into uh, the Luna HSM. And so this is gonna be a web server certificate and it's only gonna be good for one year. I'm just going to uh, create a test. So I'm just going to do dpod test. We're going to call this organization key factor. And then what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to install in certificate stores. In another uh, session, we'll talk about what certificate stores actually are, but for the purposes for today, just note that we have this uh, DPOD uh, key store here that we have mapped, which I'll go to and show you in a little, little bit. So then all I have to do is uh, I'm going to just create an alias. We're going to call it purple, and then I'm going to go ahead and click enroll. And so what Enroll is doing is going off to the Certificate Authority, requesting the certificate with the contents that I've put uh, into those fields. And then what it's going to do is schedule a agent job. That agent job will then get picked up by our uh, Key Factor Command platform, and then in turn, uh, we'll deliver that certificate to uh, the Luna HSL. So you can see here, we're, we're successful. So if I uh, quickly move over to agent jobs, uh, what you'll see here is you'll see this immediate agent job, uh, which is a key store management job uh, for this key store uh, .dpod. So when this thing uh, disappears, we'll be able to see that uh, reflected inside the product. And then we can go and look at the command line uh, to see that certificate is in fact there. So you can see it has, uh, it has disappeared from here. We can look over at agent history and we can see here the uh, Java key store has successfully been deployed. So that will be interesting. Uh, so the first thing we'll go and do is we're gonna go look at the certificate store. So what we have done is uh, is created this uh, certificate store here with the type of Luna and I configured that prior to this demo but just want to let you know so there's the provider type and then if I just right click here and I, and I can view inventory and if I view inventory what we'll see here uh, is uh, nine certificates because I know uh, that I just added one and there was eight prior to that and so we'll see uh, nine certificates and then we can go into key tool and verify that that uh, certificate with the alias purple uh, is in fact inside the list. So as you can see, we do actually have nine. Uh, I did the, uh, one of these uh, uh, DPOD test uh, certificates. And so what I can do is I can come over here to the command line. I have here uh, this command line uh, for the listing of all the certificates. And what we'll notice here is it will also say the provider. Uh, it's gonna ask me for my password. This is that crypto officer password uh, for the Luna HSM. And then from there, you'll see it says eight entries. Uh, the reason why it's slightly different between key factor and, uh, and the Luna HSM is because of the root certificate uh, is also in here, whereas in aliases, you could have multiple certificates like the chain 
uh, in there. Uh, so you can see there's an alias red that shows up. So you can see here, uh, purple is coming in. We can see uh, that the certificate chain is there uh, because it was a P of X. And you can see the DPOT test. You can see the serial number is 210. So if I double click on this one, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be that same certificate with ending in 210. Uh, and here's the certificate 210.